Hi guys, Carl here with another Ubuntu server tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install Steam CMD on Ubuntu server 14.04.01. Now if you're not familiar with what Steam CMD is, uh, I'll tell you. Uh, it's Steam's way of managing the uh, game servers that they support. Uh, such servers will include Gary's Mod, Killing Floor, uh, Counter-Strike, Team Fortress, and there's a relatively large list of games that can be easily installed and updated through Steam CMD. I'll leave a link in the description and you can where you can find that list of supported servers. Uh, some servers would require you to own the game on the account. Some servers just require an anonymous download. We'll go over some of the server installations in a future video, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is obviously turn on the server and log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. There we go. First, we need to make a new directory. So, sudo mkdir forward slash home forward slash. You need, to, you need to write your username in this next part. Mine is Carl, so I'm going to go home forward slash Carl forward slash steam CMD. Enter your password. Okay. Now we want to change over to that directory. So sudo forward slash home. Oops. CD forward slash home forward slash username forward slash steam CMD. Now we need to download steam CMD. So sudo wget http colon forward slash forward slash media dot steam powered dot com forward slash installer forward slash steam cmt underscore linux dot tar dot gz Once your download is finished, we need to extract our newly downloaded file. That's going to be sudo tar negative x v z f steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot g z. Now, this next part is important. You do not need to use this next part if you're running a 32-bit install of Ubuntu Server. However, if you're running a 64-bit uh, version like I am, we'll need to install some dependencies before moving on past this point. So, if you are running 64-bit, we need to run sudo apt git install lib 32gcc1. This is going to install the dependencies needed for the 64-bit um, environment. Next, we can go ahead and run Steam CMD by running sudo dot forward slash steam cmd dot sh. This process could take a minute. All right. Once the process is finished, we want to log into Steam CMD. So, login space anonymous. Just gonna wait for the licensing info, and once it comes back, it's okay. We are logged into Steam CMD, and that's all this tutorial is gonna show you how to do. I will cover some game installations and configurations in a future tutorial, but as, f as far as right now, we're finished for today. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, please show me by liking if you want to be kept up to date with future tutorials such as how to install Steam CMD's game servers, uh, subscribe. And as always guys, I will see you guys next time. Bye!